into a quick unboxing here. Today I have the Withings or Whitings. I'm not sure how to say that, but I think it's Withings. Uh, Smart Body Analyzer Scale. So this is actually a scale. Um, this is similar to the Fitbit Aria that I had. Um, it's actually about two and a half years old and it's not working anymore. So it's out of warranty. Um, and to replace it, I might as well have gotten something new. And this is definitely newer than the Fitbit Aria. Um, so this measures your weight, your body fat, your heart rate, and air quality, which is interesting. And of course you can uh, sync the data with the HealthMate app, which syncs conveniently into the Health app that's on your native iOS device. And this retails for 149 US dollars. So assuming this is similar to the area, I shouldn't really have a horrible transition to it. So it tells you here on the side what it's made for. So it's it's compatible with all different phones and devices. Just showing the box around. It actually has a nice little you know, handle. Um, not really much in the box. Let's see the back side. Oh, the back side. There we go. So we talk about the weight, the body fat, wireless synchronization, obviously, a free app, heart rate, and air quality. Now, heart rate's interesting because this will this will measure your resting heart rate, um, which is important to know if you trend it over time. And if your resting heart rate is at a certain level, that means that your fitness activity is actually good. And it actually comes with the batteries, which is another nice plus. Batteries included. Although the area came with the batteries too, but crappy batteries. Anyway, so enough yapping. Let's just open the box. I'm sure there's not too much in here. Look at the box. It's a very it's a very Apple centric kind of box. This this is a very Apple kind of box there. And this is the WS50 model. There is actually a previous model to this that doesn't do the other checks, but it's this very similar model. But I figured I'd get the newer one. Um, and it's just a quick install guide, so it tells you what to do and how to sync it. Um, it actually has carpet feet, which I thought was interesting. So if your bathroom is carpeted, you can add these carpet feet and it somehow can um, take that into account when you weigh yourself. So I'm assuming it's very similar to the area. These are the carpet feet. I probably won't need them because I don't have carpet in my bathroom. It's very simplistic design. There's nothing really in the box. If you guys can see the shadow, sorry about the shadow. But there's not really anything in here. It's really just the scale. So it just comes in a little plastic. So I'm just gonna slide it out. Ooh, it definitely has that premium look and feel to it. It's actually very, 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 it, it definitely feels premium compared to the, uh, to the uh, area. This feels much, much more premium. Um, Oh, here's the batteries. Oh, they're already included. Look at that. Oh, it's premium batteries. Look at Energizer batteries. That's very cool. So really, that's that's what it is. So let's test this out in the bathroom. Why don't we? So as you can see, it has kind of like a glassy look to it, which is kind of nice. I mean, it is technically glass on top anyway, but, um, but this has, like, like I said, a more... Um, premium feel to it. So as part of the uh, setup, it was fairly simple. Uh, you have to turn on your Bluetooth and then find the, the unit. And then once you find the unit, it tells you to download the app. When it downloads the app, then it uh, makes you uh, set it up through the app. And it was fairly easy. Um, and you can link it to other components that you use for tracking like uh, my fitness pal and the health app on iOS. So I'm going to actually try to test this now that it's all set up. See if I can actually weigh myself. So I'm going to bring this back a little bit and see what happens. Yeah. Oh, 
that's kind of cool. It measures your fat. I'm going to measure my heart rate, although my Apple Watch does that already. But uh, let's see what we get. Any day now. Oh, shouldn't measure it. And it's the CO2 level is 77, and that's it. Yeah, interesting. So there you have it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick unboxing and quick demo. And if you did, don't forget to like and share, and I'll talk to you soon.